hello friend namaste today we will understand a very important power the kundalini energy kundalini is a name given to divine energy that enters our body at the same time as we are in mother's womb it enters through the crown and passes through the central channel of the body and settles into the triangular structure at the base of the spine on entering the body it energizes all the chakras the active chakras receives the energy and the inactive chakras remain weak and do not develop kundalini energy is a basic life force for the person to exist after birth it lies dormant within the physical body until it is awakened kundalini is a vehicle for expansion of consciousness enabling the individual to fully develop his or her innate potential and rise to the level of divinity according to kundalini teachings there are seven major energy centers or chakras within this physical body each of these energy center affects and are affected by the way that we respond to our life and the people and the energies around us apart from kundalini there are three major energy channels or energy nadi in our physical body the left channel called chandra nadi the right channel called surya nadi the central channel called madhya nadi when a person is thinking about the past his or her attention is left channel when thinking about future the attention is right channel and when it is in thoughtless state of mind is a central channel once the dormant kundalini energy is awakened it travels up the spine of the person and piercing seven energy centers and chakras and reaches the top of the head cleansing and clearing blockages and it the chakra stands in the way of our spiritual progress and opening the connection to the universal consciousness through the chakra on the top of our head called crown or shastra chakra where is many kundalini meditation and practices including devotional singing spiritual worship etc can always awaken kundalini energy too it may rise up to the bro chakra where only a divine master one of the very high consciousness can rise the kundalini to crown chakra in meditation with pure desire to experience the divine just by pure wish one can experience the awakening of energy that is kundalini energy now we will understand the basic of seven chakras first is mooldhara or root chakra it is located at the base of spine and it is foundation stone of our body here you have to be totally receptive like small innocent child the kundalini chakra and kundalini energy is feminine power always be aware of the divine power in all women and must give due respect to women weakness in mooldhara chakra in white diseases like cancer aids sex related problems by remaining in contact with earth element one can strengthen mooldhara chakra second is swadhasin chakra it is located near the pubic area and related to thoughts excessive thoughts lead to diabetes you can control this through regular meditation start observing your thoughts every hour every minute if you are in the past tell yourself to let it go gones be gones later if you check you are in the future tell yourself who knows about the future for sure so let it go both the thoughts waste your energy due to this whatever you do is not done fully if you save this energy you will increase the efficiency third is nabhi or navel chakra it is located near the navel this satisfaction is a primary cause of blockage in nabhi chakra if you focus in your own selfish and unfulfilled desire 
this causes the Nabhi Chakra to be blocked. To purify this chakra, you must divert attention to other problems instead of your own. This will help to solve your own problem. Related to this chakra, spiritual progress begins from Nagi chakra. Only this satisfaction is the first step to progress in meditation. Fourth is Hridaya chakra or heart chakra. It is located at the center of heart. This chakra is based on faith, full faith on the divine means a healthy developed heart chakra. Weakness in heart chakra attracts heart related disease. Fifth, fifth is the Vishuddhi throat chakra. It is located at throat and is responsible for success in life. Problem related to throat chakra are guilt, conscious, deceptions, work against the consciousness, lies, failure, etc. is the symptom. In order to let develop this chakra, you have to firmly believe that there is only one supreme consciousness and that's all the extreme and external religions lead to one. Once this chakra develop, you will be successful in your life. Sixth, sixth is Agya or Bro Chakra. It is located between eyebrows and is related to nervous system. Weaknesses in Agya Chakra attracts mental problems. You have to forgive all in order to develop this chakra. Agya Chakra is also called the Master Ado because only a living highly developed Divine Master can raise Kundalini from Agya Chakra to Shastra Chakra. Seventh and last, Shastra Crown Chakra. It is located at the top of head. This is the place where Kundalini energy finally rests. From this point, you connect to Divine Consciousness and attain the thoughtless state. The Chitta, mind element, must be centered in central channel not left or right. Kundalini reaches the Shastra using the center mind through the central channel. On reaching the Shastra, there is a chemical processing which releases hormones, which activates all the glands and make them healthy and make you feel relaxed. Whatever fatigue you feel during the work is mainly due to thoughts. 90% energy is wasted due to mental thoughts and only 10% due to physical strain. My meditation, you can save and reserve this energy and use it in whatever work you do. Thus, you put in full energy, concentration and commitment into your work and the outcome will be much, much better. Hope this information helped you. Thanks for your time. Namaste.